Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today in this video, uh, actually I shared a, a telegram was in my telegram uh, discussion channel. Um, here I asked five questions uh, from food processing related topics. Uh, and uh, this video is a solution for that questions. So if you want to attempt those questions, I will uh, share the channel link where I posted the, this, uh, this link. And uh, uh, my suggestion for every aspirants, like uh, uh, if we know uh, some uh, simple formulas, we may be able to do uh, some small problems like this in our examination. So kindly just note like what is Reynolds number, what is the efficiency formula, and what is the uh, thermal uh, death time calculation, and what is um, uh, uh, what to say, what is the um, log mean temperature difference formula. Please just go through these formulas and just know how to apply these formulas and solve them. Like, because uh, here they mentioned only uh, they will ask fill in the blanks questions like we don't know like whether they will give option or not like fill in the blanks means we have to fill the dashes it may also like they can ask some numerical problems and ask us to fill those numbers as well like another competitive exams where we have to enter our answers like the questions we may, we may also get so we have to prepare for uh, even first case scenario also. So uh, here in this video, I will explain about how I proceed uh, those problems with the detailed solution. Here the first question, uh, we need to find the uh, flow type where we were given with the diameter formula and then flow velocity, viscosity, and then uh, density. Uh, here the Reynolds number formula is diameter into velocity into density divided by new viscosity. So if you apply those values, you will get the Reynolds number as 73,571, which is greater than 4,000. So the flow is turbulent flow. Where I asked was like, uh, uh, the flow is like turbulent or transient or lamin laminar flow. So like you, you have to find this value and then you have to reduce uh, like it's a turbulent flow. Like that, they can ask indirectly also. So I like prepare, prepare yourself for this kind of situations also. And the next one, the thermal efficiency formula. Uh, the formula is efficiency is equal to T1 minus T2 divided by T1 minus T0 into 100 percentage. Like uh, they given the inlet temperature and outlet temperature and then ambient temperature. If you substitute the, uh, substitute the values in this formula, you will get the thermal efficiency. And 1 ppm means 1 mg per kg. Like, uh, what is the value of 20 ppm in terms of mg for 100 kg value is like 20 into 100 uh, means like 2000 mg. And the next one, the moisture content on wet basis is given and we need to calculate the moisture content on dry basis. The uh, formula is MD is equal to MW divided by 1 plus MW, which is... Um, if you substitute this, you will get 98.06. In options, it is given as 100.99 percentage. Like, uh, which one is nearer? Like, uh, 100 point, uh, uh, 103.99 is nearer. So, you have to select which option is nearby. Okay. If two, if two options is given, like, for example, 100 and uh, 103 is given, we have to select 103 only. Because it's nine, it's above ninety five. So the nearer value is like one not three only. If the value is below ninety five, we can choose standard. Like like that also like use the common logic while selecting the options like for this kind of uh, calculation questions. And then um, uh, for log mean temperature difference, here the uh, choose inlet temperature is twenty eight degrees Celsius and outlet temperature is seventy five degrees Celsius. I uh, uh, mentioned it uh, as wrongly, like uh, market as 75 degrees Celsius, not 72 degrees Celsius. Uh, 
uh, and for water inlet temperature is 95 degree celsius and outlet temperature is 95 degree celsius this formula is a basic formula we have to know like del tm is equal to del t1 minus del t2 divided by ln del t1 divided by del t2 like if they given the ln value as something like this we can process the sum easily okay like and we have to know which one is del t1 value and which one is del t2 value like del t1 value we will take like water's outlet temperature minus juice inlet temperature which is del t1 and then uh, for del t2 we will take water's inlet temperature and juice's outlet temperature so if you find del t1 and del t2 you can substitute this in the log mean temperature difference formula and you can find the uh, log mean temperature difference uh, value here i mentioned it as a percentage which is a wrong one like kindly ignore it and uh, um, i am also planning to give a, a full length mock as a part of my uh, mock batch series on uh, 23rd september so if you want to join uh, i will uh, attach the google form link in the description also fill the form and uh, kindly contact the contact person in the telegram for your password to attend your forms uh, and do well in your uh, cfso rto or both the examinations thank you